Hello and welcome to the Kansas City District's Google Earth Tool. This video will provide an explanation of the 2011 short-range inundation projections provided by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Kansas City District. The 2011 flood event short-range projections in Google Earth are based on both elevation data and forecasted gauge elevations for a particular area of river, also known as a river reach. The forecasted gauge elevations are from the National Weather Service's Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service and are based on projected flows for the Missouri River region. An expected range of river stages were generated for each of the gauge locations along the Missouri River, from Rulo, Nebraska to St. Charles, Missouri. The short-range inundation models may be forecasted for different dates at different reaches of the river. For example, in one such release of river stage forecasts, the forecast dates ranged from July 2nd to July 4th. The river stage forecasts from Rulo, Nebraska to Leavenworth, Kansas, also known as Reach 1 and located here, was generated for July 2nd forecast, whereas the river stage forecast from Shammy, Missouri to Washington, Missouri, also known as Reach 5 and located here, was generated for a July 4th forecast. The dates for the reaches can be seen both on the Inundation Maps page of the Army Corps of Engineers Kansas City District website, as well as in Google Earth under the Table of Contents under the River Stage Forecast layer, located here. The short range inundation projection is different from the long range estimates made in June. The long range estimates included rainfall data using a higher than normal rainfall estimate for the high inundation area and a normal rainfall estimate for a low inundation area. In contrast, the short range projections utilize forecasted gauge elevations on the river reaches. The difference in the inundation areas can be seen here. The light blue shows the short term projection in Elwood and St. Joseph for reach one. Turning on the long range projections for the higher flow estimate and the lower flow estimate, you can see the difference between the two. The dark blue is showing the low inundation area, whereas the red is showing the high inundation area for the long range forecast. The differences are a result of the different gauge elevations. For example, at St. Joseph, the gauge elevation for the high flow is approximately 821 feet while the gauge elevation for the low flow is approximately 816 feet, whereas the short range projection has a gauge elevation of approximately 817 feet. Thus, the resulting inundation areas generated by a model differ from one another. This concludes the explanation of the short range projections in Google Earth. We hope that you found this information useful. Okay.